but first thing first we have to go to binance if you go over to your binance account let me open it and see the networks they are using and the rates all right so this is binance account and um if i'm to send money to these people here because you have to come over here that says currency and ensure that you are using Ghana CDs. In case your currency here is maybe NGN or maybe uh, other currencies, just tap on this option here and you select Ghana CDs. You can see it here or you search for it in case it is not there. Okay, so Ghana CDs, you tap on it. So once you tap on it, you will see uh, USDT prices in Ghana CDs. All right, and here they are. So the next thing is for us to go over to the platform we want to use for this transaction right now. We actually want to buy USDT using Ghana CDs. Then the next question is, how then do we get the Ghana CDs? There are different ways we can do that, but today we are actually going to discuss about one particular way we can fund our account in Ghana CDs and use the Ghana CDs to buy USDT on Binance and make some profit. Because the main reason we are doing all those things is just to make profit, as you understand. Aside profits, it is not worth doing at all. All right, so let's go over to the other platform and fund our accounts in Ghana cities. All right, so if you go over to your Play Store, if you're using Apple or Android, just go over to uh, Apple Store or uh, Google Play Store. It depends on the device you are using. Then you now come over here and type Easy Pay ghana in case you don't have it already on your phone all right so easy pay ghana you will see it there but for now it says open on my phone because i already have it updated on my phone currently because i've been using it for my transactions but in case you don't have it just go over here and tap on install then you get it installed on your phone so once it is installed you now open it and ensure that you verify your account by Clean the options for sign up. Just tap on sign up. Then you enter your details. Then uh, upload your document for verification and allow them to verify your account. So once your account is verified, you can now go over and start using it for these transactions. Okay. So for now, my account is verified and it is ready for use. So let me just tap on open here. Or if it is on your phone already, you can just open it directly by typing easy pay. I have about four easy pay here. All right, so let me now look for Easy Pay Ghana. I think it is the first one. All right, so you select it, Easy Pay Ghana. You allow it to open. All right, so now it has opened, and you can see that I currently have 0.00, .00 Ghana CDs on my wallet. On this Easy Pay Ghana, you see different options here. You can use either mobile money or you can pay directly to Easy Pay Ghana Merchant, or you can go ahead and pay to bank account but i actually want to make use of mobile money here for fast transactions all right and so you're welcome to real tons of tech youtube channel and here we talk about legit ways of making money online through dollar arbitrage crypto arbitrage and other legit ways of making money online if you're here to subscribe can you subscribe and type on the red subscribe button below here so once you tap on it you now go over to the bell icon and you set it to all then you go ahead and like the video here then don't forget to go through my other videos by typing on this my channel name here so once you tap on it you now go over to videos so from here you will see my other videos and you can learn more on how to make money online then you can go over to the video description so once you tap on it once you tap here you can now scroll down from here you can see how to contact me in case you want to buy your ghana sim card and if you also scroll down you see the link to my telegram group so once you tap on it you join my telegram group and learn more on how to make money online we make use of our card for the funding I'm in Nigeria, so we make use of our card for the funding. Even if you are in Ghana, you will see make use of your card or maybe your mobile money for the funding. It all depends on the method you want to use. All right, so as for the funding, I want to make use of mobile money right now. If you go to mobile money option here, you unlock it. All right, so these are different ways you can fund your Easy Pay account be you in ghana in nigeria or wherever you are as long as you have easy pay ghana account these are the methods you can use to fund mobile money using this account all right so you can see the first option that says credit slash debit card option one next one says credit slash debit card option two we have a uh, visa slash mastercard option three then we have refund and reward accounts we also have mobile money all right, so let me go ahead and explain these options. 
as for the option number one this is just uh, a credit slash debit card option that is if you want to fund your wallet using your credit slash uh, debit card okay and uh, the reason why they have option one two and three is because in case your card did not work on option one it could work on option two or on option three so the next option says refund and reward account if you look here you will see my easy pay balance which says 0, 0.00 so this particular balance is for refund and reward account that means if you want to maybe send money through this your balance in case you have some money in this balance then you will now use this option that says refund and reward account all right so the next option says mobile money so in case you want to fund this wallet using your ghana mobile money accounts like your mtn mobile money vodafone cash momo or airtel tigo you can now go ahead and make use of mobile money all right so in this video i want to make use of credit slash debit card for this transaction all right so if you go over to binance right now and you now go over to vodafone cash let me just use vodafone cash for this video though you can use m10 but i prefer using vodafone card all right so i want to make use of vodafone cash for this video you now go over to uh, payment method then you select it and go over to vodafone cash you tap on it and uh, you now go over to confirm now we can see payments using vodafone cash only that means you can easily send money from your easy pay wallet to someone's vodafone cash account and use it to buy cryptocurrency now let's assume you want to buy cryptocurrency from this particular person this person sells 10.99 ghana cds per usdt if i want to buy from this person right now i will just tap on the ads here i will tap on the ads if you scroll down you see the instructions there you see the instructions then i will now go over and uh, enter the amount i want to buy in ghana cities and now tap on buy with zero fee now another question you will ask yourself is how then will you know the amount you can buy with your debit card or your credit card that's another problem and you know once you open a trade on binance and maybe if you try sending it from your card maybe your card uh, accommodates only 300 ghana cities and you now come here to type 400 ghana cities you know that obviously the transaction will not be successful it will not go and uh, if you now try to cancel this or maybe binance cancels it because we are unable to make payment on time don't forget that it will reduce your trade performance score okay so it is really not a good idea all right and another thing is if your card limit is like 200 ghana cities and you now want to buy 100 ghana cities maybe you're not sure and you don't want to cancel any trade you now come here and type in a, maybe 150 ghana cities maybe 100 ghana cities you understand whereas your card limit is 200 ghana cities for example from there you can see that you've actually wasted like 50 to 100 ghana cities in the process of trying to economize or maybe trying to be careful you understand so how then will you do it in order to get the exact limit on your card what you will do is you have to buy ghana sim card for this i have a video on how to set up ghana sim card in case you want to set up your own ghana sim card for momo okay and if you don't have your own ghana sim card contact me via the video description or you can see the details on the screen right now just contact me via that details and you'll get your own ghana sim card i suggest you use a ghana sim card registered in your name i actually use vodafone cash momo registered in my name for most of my transactions because i have many of them you can get as many as possible if you wish you can get up to like eight vodafone card same card registered in your name or maybe 10 or 15 it all depends on what you want but you can as well use non-personalized sim cards if you wish but for me i suggest you get vodafone cash sim card registered in your name okay all right so let's proceed let's assume you want to send money to this person right now okay let me use this particular guy the second guy here so let me go ahead and use him for example so once i tap on this particular uh ads here let's assume i want to send like uh, 200 ghana cities for example so once i tap on him you will see that i'll be getting 18.20 usdt because his rate is 10.99 ghana cities per usdt all right so if i want to use my easy pay ghana to send money to this person don't forget that before you use this method ensure that you already know the limits on your card okay all right so you now come over here on a uh, easy pay ghana tap on mobile money because i want to use mobile money for this but you can as well go ahead and use bank accounts if you wish to do so okay so you now tap on mobile money 
I want to use option one because my card works on option one. All right, so you now come over here that says select a service provider. So once you tap on it, you will see two different networks here, MTN Mobile Money and Vodafone Cash. These are networks you can send money to from here to Ghana. So let me select Vodafone Cash because that's what I filtered on Binance. So you now come here and enter the merchant phone number. So let me come over here. All right, so you now come here and tap on buy with zero fee. So from there, you can now see the phone number of this person because the phone number is the Momo number. But I don't want to send it directly. I want to send it to my own Ghana SIM card so that from my own Ghana SIM card, I can now forward it to this person. So this is a very good method if you have many cards to use. For example, if you have like five cards or two cards or three cards or even 10 cards because there are people that have more than 20 cards for arbitrage based on this particular update so if you have many cards sending it to your own ghana sim card is better and again if you don't know the exact limit on your card it's better you send the money to your vodafone cash Momo wallet then from there you can now forward it to the person on binance okay all right so to send it to your vodafone cash sim card you tap on mobile money because i want to use mobile money for this all right so you unlock your easy pay wallet I want to make use of credit slash debit card option one. I want to use this first option here. So I select it. So you now come over here that says select a service provider. So once you tap on it, you select the network you want to use. For me, I want to use my own Vodafone Cash Momo wallet. You now go down to phone number option. You will see that the code is plus 233 because this is a Ghana number. Star 127 Ash you send it that is to bring out your phone number all right so below here you will see your vodafone cash phone number all right so let me copy the phone number and enter that particular phone number that you copied out let me enter the phone number all right so once you're done entering the phone number here it will bring out the name used in registering the vodafone cash momo wallet and here you can see my name here because this is a sim card registered in my name like I said before, I always suggest people to buy Vodafone Cash SIM card registered in your name, okay? If you can, but if you cannot, you can as well go for non-personalized one, but I suggest buying personalized SIM card for Vodafone Cash more, more okay? Now, you now come over here that says amount. I don't really know the exact amount on my card, but because I am sending it to my own SIM card, let me just enter any amount here. Let me just try using something like uh, 300 Ghana CDs and see if it will go. 300 Ghana CDs. 300 Ghana CDs. All right. Now you can see that the fee here is 11.25. And in total, I'll be paying 311.25 Ghana CDs. Because the fee here is 11.25, it doesn't work like that until you tap on send money and see the final rates you are actually paying. All right, so you can now come here and type a description if you wish but for me i don't wish to do so so let me leave it blank like that but if you are sending it to someone else aside yourself you can come here and type either your name or maybe what the payment is meant for but please don't include any crypto related word if you are sending it for crypto purchase okay now if you want to save this person's contact on easy pay wallet on your own wallet you can now come here and tap on remember me so because this is my own sim card let me tap on remember me all right so you now come down here and tap on send money okay but don't forget that if the phone number you entered here is wrong the name will not appear so if after entering the phone number you didn't see any name here it means that the sim card is not for momo the sim card can be registered yes the B cap can say yes but it may not be more more enabled that means you cannot use it to send or receive payment so this is how you can know the name on any vodafone cash sim card if you want to know the name on your own sim card just come here on easy pay ghana enter the phone number here the name will be displayed here for you you tap on send money option it says are you sure you want to pay yes you tap on pay but if this is a mistake you can now go for cancel but this is correct so i'm actually going for pay you tap on pay all right so you allow it to open All right, so you can see that the final rate here is 318.75 whereas on the other page we saw 311 point something 
So here is where you have to confirm the exact amount you are paying for the transaction. Okay. So I have to cover this area as I enter my card details. So once you're done entering your card details and tap on next. So once you tap on next, it will bring up this information here that says your billing address. So you have to go ahead and fill up these options. But it is really not compulsory, but you can still go ahead and fill up the options. But for me, I don't have time for that. So let me now go down to next. I tap on next or you can just easily select your country, but I don't even have time for any of them. So you now tap on next. Alright, so here it brings us to this environment. So don't forget that we're actually receiving 300 Ghana CDs. The other 18.75 Ghana CDs is just for the charges for the transaction. Okay, so you now come here and tap on pay now. Pay now. You allow it to load. All right, so next thing is for you to enter the code sent to you via SMS or your email. All right, so once you are done entering the OTP, you now go down to submit. You tap on submit. So let's see if this limit will go. Let's see if it will go. Let's see if it will work out. So can you see that? Well, I didn't mean you've opened a trade on Binance. That means you have to go and cancel the trade. I reason why you have to use your own SIM card so that you know the exact limit on the card before you now start the main arbitrage. So let me now go over to the beginning and reduce the amount. See, 300 Ghana CDs did not work. Let me reduce the amount. All right, so let me now start again and reduce the amount to like, let me just do 200 and see if it works. 200 Ghana CDs. All right, so let's come over here and enter OTP. Let's see if this rate will go. Let's see if this limit will work. Hope I'm correct. You now tap on submit. You allow it to load and see if it works. All right, so you can see that the payment is now successful. The payment is successful. You can see that here. All right, so let's go over and try another one. Maybe since we have 200 Ghana CDs, or let's even confirm if we've received it in a Vodafone Cash wallet. Okay, it is still processing. Let's allow it to finish processing. All right, so we've received it almost instantly in our Vodafone Cash. I've received the alert on my Vodafone Cash SIM card. All right, so you can see the message here that I've received 200 Ghana CDs. Now let me go over to my Vodafone Cash Mama wallet. Let me open the wallet and confirm the payment. So this is my Vodafone Cash wallet, the app. And uh, for you to see the money you have in the app, this is just the airtime balance, one CD, which is the airtime balance. For you to see the money you have in the app, you now go down to cash option here. You see the cash option here. So you tap on this cash option. You now enter your PIN. I've actually taught you how to set up your Vodafone Cash Wallet, but if you still don't know how to set it up, there's a link to the video I made on how to set up your Ghana SIM card in Nigeria or wherever you are in the world. Just go down to the video description. You'll see a link to that. Go ahead and watch it and know exactly how to do that. All right, so you now enter your PIN here. Once you're done entering your PIN, you allow it to load. All right, so you can see that the money has reflected in our Vodafone Cash app. You can see that here. We have 201.3 Ghana CDs. Whereas what we sent here was uh, 200 Ghana CDs. That means I have 1.3 Ghana CDs before now. All right, so you can see that here. Now let's go back and try maybe 50 Ghana CDs and see if it will work. Or we can try like 90 and see if it works. All right. So we now go to mobile money again. We go back to mobile money. Go to credit card option one. You select Vodafone Cash. You enter your phone number. Once you are done, you now go over to submit option. Let's see if this will work. Wow, that means the card limit is not up to 280. Wow, they have actually reduced it badly. All right, so let me just go back and make it like, um, let me just say 250. Let me just put 50 there. Let me wait for OTP. Okay, I've seen it. 
so let me now enter the otp here and see if this will work also so all this depends on the card limit you may have a card that has a limit of either 2000 ghana cities or 1000 ghana cities but this particular card obviously is limited to oh all right so i'm able to send another 20 ghana cities you can see that here i tried 50 it didn't work out i tried 80 it didn't work out i tried 40 it didn't work out but i tried 20 it worked out that means the limit has actually been reduced a bit so let me go ahead and try maybe another 10 ghana cities and see if it will go all right so now we have 220 ghana cities in our vodafone cash wallet you can see that here so let me just try another 10 ghana cities and see if it will work all right so this is why you need your ghana sim card for these transactions let me try 10 ghana cities you now go over to send money pay all right so let me just enter the code sent to my phone and see if this will work let's see if this will work this is just 10 ghana cities wow thank god all right so it worked you can see that we now have 230 ghana cities the first one was 200 the second one 20 then this one 10 ghana cities i think i should go back and try another five ghana cities and see if it will work let me just enter the code sent to my phone this is just for five ghana cities don't forget so let me know if this will work out let's see if it will work out unsuccessful all right so let's work with this 230 have you seen that so this is actually the reason why you have to do some testing to know the exact limit on the card all right so you can see that here i now have 231.30 ghana cities all right so having known this let me just go and try another card let me just try like a 250 ghana cities and see if it will work because uh, if you add all the fees that we've been spending on these three transactions you will see that it should give us about 235 Ghana cities, whereas we have 230 Ghana cities. So let me just go and try once 250 Ghana cities and see if it will work. If it doesn't work, I will now try 240 Ghana cities. So I want to go with two cards here, though I have more than two. But let me just work with two cards here because I have my own Ghana SIM card and uh, I'm still testing before I now start the main arbitrage. So this is why you have to use your own Ghana SIM card for this. In case you don't have your own SIM card, contact me through the details in the video description okay so once you tap on it you will see the whatsapp link and the telegram link so once you tap on them contact me and you will have your own sim card whether you need the one registered in your name or the one not registered in your name i sell both you can also get mtn sim card vodafone card sim card airtel to sim card let me just try uh 250 ghana cities and see if it will work 250 ghana cities let's try it first and see if it will work you now go down to send money let's see if this will work you enter the code here you now tap on submit so let's see if this will work out if this 250 did not work out we now try 240 if it doesn't work out we try 235 so let's see if it will work or oh, it failed all right, so let's go back and try like two, 240 Ghana cities. Submit. All right, so this is successful. So you can see that we've used 240 Ghana cities for this. Now we've used 240 Ghana cities for another card, though they are the same bank cards, okay? And you can see that the limit is around 240 Ghana cities or maybe 241 or 42 or 43 Ghana cities. You can see that here all right so this is how it works don't forget that we use two cards for this the first card the first card gave us 230 ghana cities and the second one is 240 ghana cities i would have actually tried 245 ghana cities but no problem maybe when i use other cards i can try like 245 ghana cities or maybe 244 or 243 or something like that all right so this is how it works let's now go over to binance and sell it and know our profits one of 230 ghana cities i had 
I had about how much in my account? I had about twenty five thousand eight nine eight point five one in that account, and currently now I'm left with eleven thousand nine hundred twenty four point four four naira. That means in total I was debited thirteen thousand nine hundred seventy four naira seven kobo for. 230 Ghana CDs. Let me just copy it and paste here. Let me copy it. Then let me come over here and type in 230 Ghana CDs. I was debited this amount because I want to know the profits after everything. Then as for the one of 240 Ghana CDs, I had about um I had how much do I have in my account then? I had uh 16,000 four hundred and thirty six point four seven and i'm left with how much let me go to my bank all right so let me go to the bank app and confirm and i'm left with two three two nine point one five all right so in total i was able to use fourteen thousand one hundred and seven naira thirty two cobo so in total i was able to use fourteen thousand one hundred and seven naira 32 cobo all right so that is the cost price all right so you can see that here i have 471.3 ghana cities here yeah? in my vodafone cash app and don't forget that i had about 1.3 ghana cities earlier on before this transaction and uh, that means in total i have 470 ghana cities from two cards don't forget that you can see go ahead and use the other cards that you have for this transaction because you can get as many cards as possible for this particular transaction based on this particular card that i use for this arbitrage and if you wish to know the card i use for this arbitrage join my telegram group then ask of the card i use for this and i will tell you that okay all right so now the currency is in nigerian naira we now change it to ghana cities all right let's go to ghana cities okay you now go over to payment method and select vodafone cash Payment method Vodafone Cash. Okay, you confirm. You ensure it is filtered. It's already filtered, so everything is okay. Now, the limit of this guy is from 100 Ghana CDs to 1938.84 Ghana CDs. And we have about 470 Ghana CDs. If I'm using this particular rate now, 10.98 Ghana CDs. If I'm using this guy, once I tap on buy, you now go over to buy fiat option because we have fiat which is Ghana CDs. Please, if you are sending from Vodafone Cash to Vodafone Cash, there is no fee, it is zero fee, but there is what we call e levy fee for that. And the e levy fee is if you are sending an amount less than 1000 Ghana CDs, you will pay 1.5% of the amount as your e levy fee. But if you are sending like 1000 Ghana CDs upwards, you will pay. 10 Ghana cities. Whether you are sending 2,000 Ghana cities or 4,000 or 5,000, you will pay 10 Ghana cities as your e levy fee. Not, not as your transaction fee, no, but as your e levy fee. So since you are sending about 470 Ghana cities, 470 Ghana cities, you now say 470 times 1.5%. That means the fee is 7.05. Ghana cities for 470 Ghana cities. You now say this amount minus 470 Ghana cities. That means we can only buy crypto of 462.95 Ghana cities. All right, so this is how it works. Let's now go over and purchase cryptocurrency with this amount 462.95 Ghana cities. If they leave us with some change, no problem. But we're actually working with these 462.95 Ghana CDs. Let's now go over to Binance and come here and enter 462.95 Ghana CDs. 95 Ghana CDs. You now go over to buy with zero fee. So if you come down to these terms and conditions here, you see where this person wrote easy pay payment is not allowed i've seen why you have to send this to your ghana phone number first before you now transfer it to them they are saying that easy pay payment is not allowed and for you not to enter into problems with these people it is better that you transfer the money from easy pay to your own ghana number then from your own ghana number you can now forward it to these people all right and uh, he has many terms and conditions so under his terms and conditions also he has a condition that it is only 
Ghanaians that can trade with him. All right, but since I have a SIM card registered in my name, uh, it doesn't matter whether I am a Ghanaian or not because the SIM card is in my name. All right, so I can go ahead and trade with this person despite the fact that he has many terms and conditions. So this is why you have to have a SIM card registered in your name, okay? So some of them are said non-personalized, but I suggest that you go for personalized sim card for vodafone cash momo for mtn you can use non-personalized mostly because many of them don't really care but for vodafone cash i suggest that you go for personalized sim card if you can all right you now go down to buy with zero fee you tap on buy with zero fee all right so you now come here let's go and see if he has any message in his chat environment <laughs> right so he kept on repeating it easy pay payment is not allowed this order is for Ghanaians only Ghanaians only <laughs> drop your momo number and allow cash out please drop your momo number and allow cash out cash out is for mtn cash out is for mtn but we are using vodafone cash so relax relax all right so he has actually sent us a message he said hello so let's go and chat him up hi there oh it's not sending so let me just go back all right so he has some messages for us he said hello i'm online so let's go and send him our own message hello dear i'm sending from my vodafone cash momo you now type in your name here because this is my name if you also confirm the name on Binance, you will see that it is the same name on Binance that I'm actually sending from. Alright, so let's see if he has anything to say. He said, okay, no problem. Can you see that? So this is why you need to use your own Vodafone cash registered in your name. But some of them actually accept non-personalized, but... I suggest you use the one registered in your name. I keep saying it because I know some merchants are very troublesome. All right, so let me ask him for his TIL number. TIL number, please, because he uses agent SIM card. So I want him to send his TIL number. He hasn't sent his TIL number yet. Maybe he's having network issues in his own side. So let me just tap on make payment and see if his number is here. Let's go to make payments. You tap on make payments. You go for Vodafone Cash. All right. So this is his steel number. You copy it. And you can see the full name. Now let's go over to our Vodafone and send him the money. You now type star 110 ash. You send it. You now go over to two, two that says withdraw cash. You go to from agent. You paste that two number there. Send. You go ahead and paste the two number again. So you enter the amount. I think four six two point nine five, right? four six two point nine five please if you are not sure you can cancel this and confirm the exact amount you are sending please so four six two point nine five you, i would have actually increased this to four six five but no problem you now enter your pin here all right so the money has been sent successfully let's wait for a message all right so it has been sent you can see that here we've sent this money to this person and you can see our balance here 3.72 ghana cities so let me now go back to binance and tap on transferred notify seller all right so done let me now come over here and type sent please confirm and release a sap So let me wait for him to confirm and release the money. All right, so you can see that he has released it as fast as possible because he sees nothing to use against me. He has released the money and the trade has been completed. 
all right so that is it so let me now go over to naira p2p and know how much profit i've made from this trade but before then let me just do some calculations i was debited this amount plus the second one was a 14107.32 14107.32 so in total i paid 28081 naira 39 cover for these two cards so let me go over to naira p2p on binance and know how much profit i've made from this complete all right so i bought 42.16 usdt 42.16 usdt that's what i bought with 462.95 ghana cities all right so let me now come over here and select uh nigerian naira ngn so i now come here and ensure that it is filtered all right so it is filtered right now you now go over to amount let me just filter about thirty thousand naira all right so you now go over to sell option and we are working with usdt so you now go over to sell option okay, this fast trader i never wanted to use him but let me use him 42.16 one of pump pay sell with zero fee so we are actually getting uh 31086.67 so let me calculate it again this amount minus 310 31086 31086.67 actually making 3005 naira 28 cobble from this arbitrage so we've made around 3000 naira from this arbitrage all right and we still have many cards to use for this we still have many more cards to use he said drop your phone number if you want to pass payment no problem so let me go ahead and drop my phone number you now drop your phone number which is part of the instruction so let's allow him to make the payments i'm actually waiting for him to make the payment so, so for mtn you can easily use a non-personalized sim for mtn if you want to get your own ghana sim card for arbitrage don't forget to contact me through the video description should i copy the correct contact details so, so i don't make any mistakes by contacting the wrong person I made these payments i'm about to release the usdt for him okay so now you can see that the trade is now completed for two cards and many people have more than 20 cards some have up to 50 cards 80 cards or more it all depends and if you have like let me just say you have like 10 cards that means this amount times five that means you make around 15,000 naira with just your uh, 10 cards from the same bank it all depends all right if you have up to 20 cards you make around uh 30,000 naira with this particular update it all depends don't forget that the profit you make from each card depends on the particular platform that you tested the card there is a platform that uses this particular card and you make more profit or less profit it all depends on where you use your card okay it all depends on where you use your card and how many cards you have for transactions so this is how much you can make every day but it all depends on how many cards you have for the transactions so don't forget to go to my other videos so that you learn more on how to make money online subscribe to my youtube channel if you really like making money subscribe to my youtube channel enjoy my telegram go to the link in the video description see you in my next video have a nice day